pull the whole thing down. I'm gonna bring the whole fucking diseased, corrupt temple down on your head. It's gotta be biblical. Could a satanic monument go on display at the state capitol? Seven foot tall statue of Satan that it wants to be opened at the state capitol. Finally, a satanic group has unveiled designs for a seven foot tall goat headed deity at the Oklahoma state capitol. The seven foot tall goat headed demon sitting on a throne with two children next to it. The group's satanic temple. Brian Warner, who claims to be a satanic high priest living in Milwaukee, says. The statue would be built next to an existing monument of the Ten Commandments. The statue will be a symbol of Satan as a goat. It's designed for children to sit on it, take pictures with it, and the group wants it to go right here outside the state capitol, right next to the Ten Commandments. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorating scapegoats to marginalize and demonize minority. I don't agree with the rabbi, do you not, that this is absolutely a mockery and ridiculous? Absolutely, not mockery, not ridiculous. The separation of church and state is what makes America great. Religious freedom means the government doesn't take sides, one religion or another. You may not like the Satanists, guess what? That doesn't matter. This is Von Klauswitz shit, total fucking war. The belief system behind the monument is very simple. The, um, the right-wing religious majority think that they have the right to impose their belief system on everybody. The fact of the matter is, this is not a Christian country. This is a multiculturalistic society that thrives itself on plurality, whether it be Muslim or Jewish or Hindu or Buddhist or even Satanist. You know, this is not a Christian country, and anybody that says that I implore them to go back and actually read their history, read the quotes from Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin, who were devout non-believers. So to sit there and, and erect a monument that, to me, represents a book that is very repulsive. You know, um, the Bible demands the deaths of millions of innocent people. Do you want a book like that being taught to children or being used in our courts of law? Absolutely not. And um, the whole purpose behind the monument is just to show the duality of American. You know that there is a. a there's a historical significance to having it. This is a monument that speaks, uh, as Lucian put it best, speaks to the demoralized, uh, demonized minority, the, uh, the unjustly outcast, the, uh, the marginalized. And that's what this you know, monument is meant to represent. The symbol for Baphomet has been a symbol that has been used for thousands of years. Uh, it's meant to represent duality, the, the good, the bad, the light, the dark. And we wanted something that wasn't gonna be over the top offensive. We wanted something that was, Something that, that was appealing to the eyes, you know, something that could also be interactive as well. Gilmore was not elected to that church. He was not appointed to that church after Dr. LeVay died. And since LeVay's death, what has Gilmore really done? And he released one book of a bunch of essays, which that doesn't do anything for our movement. It doesn't do anything for our, our kind, if you will. And he really kind of puts himself into uh, a self-appointed position of if, if I don't say this is Satanism, well then it's not. Well, I don't remember electing you to, uh, to the head. I don't remember you being appointed to that position. So therefore, what makes you the moral authority on the subject? Just because you own the name the Church of Satan. If you ask me if Dr. LeVay saw you today, he'd be going to his grave. Okay, because he does say, you know, quote, it occurs to me that the efforts of the perpetrators or this proposal may be intended as a as a means of making Satanism appear foolish and just as dysfunctional and irrational as we secularists view most other religions to be. Sure. Uh, you, what's very funny about that statement is he's actually breaking Church of Satan protocol for 30 years where they decided they actually said they would not speak out or acknowledge any other group besides themselves. So the fact that he is even speaking out publicly and mentioning us, he's already breaking standard Church of Satan protocol that was set in place by Dr. LeVay. Proud high priest of the Satanic Temple, not the Church of Satan. I have no affiliation with them. And, and they are something different. They are something different, but I mean, really, again, they don't do anything. Only thing he does is he puts out uh, membership fees for $200 and you get a laminated card in the mail. And then he's basically sitting back taking people's money as we're, we don't accept money. We, we don't accept that. We pay our taxes. 
we are a religious institution that actually believes in paying taxes and we're trying to set an example for all the other religious institutions out there. Go ask Pat Robertson if he wants to pay his taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think so. So... We've also had a few other stunts that we've done in the past. Uh, last summer, I'm sure you know who uh, Westboro Baptist Church is. Yes. Fred Phelps, well, we found out where Fred Phelps' mother was buried when we held the same sex ceremony over the grave of his mother. No. You, know, you, know, you can disrespect other people's uh, funerals and disrespect other people's loved ones, but you, know, you think you're off limits? No. And it's the same thing here. Again, you know, the Christians think that they have the right to put up their monuments and our courts of law and jurist, you know, have that jurisdiction go over the entire populace. And most don't believe it. Twenty thousand dollars. Where are we at in fundraising? Uh, Twenty-two thousand. We uh, we raised all the money inside of 24 hours, and donations are still coming in, and from unlikely sources too. We have been getting emails all day long saying, uh, you know, I'm a Christian, but I really support what you guys are doing. Uh, and it speaks to the volumes of you know, Voltaire once said that uh, I may hate and despise everything you have to say, but I'll fight to the death to defend your right to say it. Do you think you're going to get someone who will create it? Oh, we already have. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, 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 oh, yeah, no, that, 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 that's, that's a non-issue. Um, at this point, we're going through the uh, Preservation Society in Oklahoma, and they're trying to say that it doesn't have any historical significance, which, again, it, it does. You know, it has about as much historical significance as the Ten Commandments does. Uh, it's, it speaks to, like I said, the plurality of the multiculturalistic society in which we live in. And if we can set the bar this far, then anybody else trying to set the bar below us, is, it's going to make waves for them to do so. The Hindus, I heard, wanted to build a, a monument in the same, you know, we implore that. You know, whether uh, an Islam monument or a Jewish monument or a Buddhist it's monument. It's going to be a crowded corner. It, it's probably going to be a crowded corner, and, and rightfully so. You either have, in my opinion, you either have all of them or you have none of them. This is equal treatment, not special treatment. And just because you're white and born in the Midwest and believe in Jesus does not give you the right to put up your monuments in our courts of law and expect all of us to follow your rules. What are the other hurdles you're going to have to face to get this monument erected? Uh, just the... Uh, money sure isn't a problem. Uh, the, the money's definitely not an issue. Um, the lawyers definitely aren't an issue because the ACLU is backing us 100% on this. We've been receiving an outpouring of support from multiple different uh, multiple different places. So it's really in the court's hands at this point. Um, we're going to have to do the Preservation Society next. If that gets denounced, then we're going to have to come back with a civil suit and on the phone with lawyers and everybody all day. And uh, it could even potentially get pushed to the point of the Supreme Court, which I would love to see happen because, in my opinion, freedom of religion still means any religion. It doesn't say freedom of religion as long as it's a sect of Christianity. It says freedom of religion. Well, guess what? I'm an American-born free citizen, and I have the right to my beliefs, too.